another thing that will cost a lot of those things it depends on what you are wearing now like if you go like, ghana is still largely a very decent and uh, decent community that's like a lot of communities are very decent <laughs> This channel, welcome to this video today. If you ever plan on visiting Ghana, even if it's just for like holiday or you're moving to Ghana, or you are here because this is what doing our whole movie to Ghana series. So, if you ever plan on visiting Ghana, this video is for you basically. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a few things about Ghana. Okay, I have to silence this phone. Okay, but then, yeah, so I'm going to teach you a few things of about Ghana and the Ghanaian people that will make your stay here smoother, more enjoyable, basically. So, if you ever plan on visiting Ghana, these are some of the things you should be prepared for. That's one of the things you should know about Ghana and Ghanaians before you come here. But before we get into this video, basically, this is your first time on the channel, and you just see my face for the first time. Hi, guys, my name is Vanessa. I'm in Nigeria, meet you all living in Accra, Ghana. I play a lot, I'm very sorry about that. But yeah, my name is Vanessa, Nigeria, meet you all living in Accra, Ghana. And I make videos about my life in Ghana, moving to Ghana, transitioning to Ghana. I have a lot of fun vlogs and I talk very fast also. But everything you've heard sounds a bit interesting or you like what you hear. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe for you live and join our ever growing family. This is the best place to be on the internet. There's a lot of fun things going on here. It's so fun to be here on this channel. I am telling you, Charlie. So subscribe, like, and comment. If you are returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for clicking on this video. We learn something new every day, and today we're going to learn something new about Ghana and Guinea people in general and about life in Ghana basically so yeah let's get straight into today's video number one thing you should know about Ghana and Ghanaian people is that it's very disrespectful to go about calling elderly people people that are older than you way older than you by their first name it is considered very rude and very disrespectful so do not go about doing that maybe someone is telling you oh hi oh, how are you my name is my name is John and Mr. John and you are like Maybe next time you see that you're saying John, that's very disrespectful. Don't address people that are older than you. Like, it's very disrespectful and it's considered very rude. So, no matter who they are, no matter where you're saying them, it's not, if, you, if, you, if you want to address an elderly person older than you, you should add sir, ma, uncle, auntie to their name. You can like auntie this, auntie that, uncle this, uncle that, oh sir this, oh sir that. But don't just go about calling people John. John, I want to talk to you. Can you do me this? It's very, very busy. It doesn't really matter in the context, basically. Even if these people are working for you, like maybe even if it's like a security man in wherever you're staying, and you don't go about calling them by their first name. It's really very rude. So learn to like place Sama in front of their names, basically. And you know, be respectful to people. And for people closer to your age, may you can like ask sister or brother to that their name or maybe you don't even know their their name in general you can like oh sister or brother and you can talk to them or maybe this person is like a bit closer to your age where you do not want to be calling somebody uncle that's closer to your age where you can like oh sister Eunice or auntie or brother Kwame you know things like that just be a bit more respectful to people and their tradition that's one of the Ghanaian culture and tradition so you have to learn to like be able to abide by it so don't go about calling people their first name call people like that and when you're even going out on the street you will hear a lot of people calling you oh sister brother it's not weird that's like a normal thing so it's not like i just according it to them that according it to you also you know respect the reciprocal so these people are respecting you show the respect back so yeah don't call people by their first names in Ghana don't do it master don't do it <laughs> Because you know about Masa, I don't know two. You're going to hear like Masa, Masa a lot. Masa is like master. It's not like it's kind of superiority. Maybe most of people don't know your name. They call you Ah Masa um, just to get your attention. Also, when you're annoying somebody very well, they can call you Hey Masa, you know. It depends on the intonation. That's the way they're calling you Masa. Basically, you can just maybe you're just annoying somebody and they're like trying to hear Masa, but it's not a form of superiority 
or anything that has to do with slave men, slave house mentality and all of that because when people are like too woke why am I even making this for because I someone said it of a uh, very recently and I'm like don't be too woke. That thing is not like they're not calling anybody master because they are foreigners or because they are this. It's how they like try to communicate with strangers they do not know on the way. So like a chalet, like chalet master is it's a regular thing. And you can actually be asked someone wants to just tell you, say, hey master, you are looking fine. Different things, lady like, like in Nigeria we call people boss so, boss you know or guy and the rest of that is kind of the same thing so it's not there's no sense of syrup sobriety and if you hear it a lot it will make people fighting master this master that is a lot of things number three is sharpen your bargaining skills if you are a foreigner coming to ghana sharpen your bargaining skills you have to be very good i am very personally terrible at it but i'm getting better because if you do not know how to bargain in this ghana you will pay you will literally be over a child. I know we usually say, oh, uh, Ghanaians can take advantage of you if they notice they are a foreigner and say something for you way more expensive than it is normally, then maybe they will sell it to a local. It is truth. That was a very, that was true. Where they see that, you know. But really, it's not like something, you know, that's very true. But it's called, you know, target marketing. Basically, when a, a, a seller or a retailer, Market woman, whatever the square they can get a little bit more for their goods or services from a foreigner. Of course, they want to tempt it and try it hard. Who don't want to get a little bit more? Because right now, life in Ghana is very hard. So, if someone can get something extra from you, they're going to do it basically. That's why your bargaining skills come in. And you're not forced to buy anything basically. You can bargain if it's not something you can afford or you are willing to pay for a particular thing or service. You can move on to somewhere else and bargain again there. But your bargaining skills need to be sharp. Like sharpen it because they will know to pick up the foreigner in Ghana is very easy basically. Like it's super easy to pick up the foreigner in Ghana. Maybe mostly because of the language, but you will not be able to speak the language. And even if you decide to learn the language, you will, the accent will still be there, so they will know you're not in Ghana. Yeah? So if they can get something extra from you, they will try it. So yeah, let your chap your bargaining skills be very sharp. I remember no bad. Four or oh, four, yeah, four. You can drive in Ghana with the international driver's license, basically. But driving in Ghana, maybe if you're from Africa this way, you are used to the way we drive around in Africa, so it's it'd be easy for you to drive in Ghana. If you are coming from, <laughs> if you are coming from outside of Africa, basically, or in a in a more saner, you know, driving, you know, society, basically. You discover that driving in Ghana is not for the week, so you might want to like stick to hailing Uber or hailing cars or get a driver to drive you around. But with your international driver's license, you can drive it. Like I said, be very careful because it's, there is a lot of things here in Ghana. Nobody's waiting for you to do anything. People are honing. It's my turn to do this. Do this. It, it's, it's something else out there. I really do not even want to be. I, I, okay, I personally don't like driving, so I'm not like the best person to give you advice on driving, you know. But if you want to drive, you can drive with your international driver's license. So, you know, get certified, get a license for you getting if you are, if you want to drive. Don't just go running across the road crossing. This is mostly for 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 Africa because from where from we run across and we use zebra crossing basically if not you go to heaven faster than you want to be in heaven for so there's zebra crossing pedestrian don't go catwalking in those zebra crossing wait for the pedestrian light to come on your crossing and walk fast first of all they will come and brush your two legs so but yeah it's a uh, compared to a lot of places in africa ghana is like a um, very organized when it comes to their uh, traffic light and obeying traffic rules. So don't just de decide, oh, I'm not going to run cross the road. No, wait for the light to come out and learn to use zebra crossing. You know, you want to preserve your life, you want to live longer, you want to live long, you don't want to die young, <laughs> you don't want to die for your time. Don't go running across the road, obey the traffic rules. Like I said, they obey it once they are like, the red light comes on. You see the most serious tra the drivers, everybody will stop and allow the pedestrians to, you know, go across. But like I said, don't catwalk, walk fast, 
and be going that ring was number six there is a lot of cat calling in ghana here if you're in africa i think i used to it already but if you're not africa if you're non-african basically coming to africa and you're coming to ghana for the first time you discover that there is a lot of cat calling people calling you hey master hey eh. <laughs> this it's really funny sometimes because the way they call you here sometimes i just go about laughing you can be walking in the market and someone is calling you empress so if you're a girl coming in, you hear a lot of empress, empress, hey, what you find? They will not be hailing you. Most of them are just calling you to get your attention to, like, if you're in the market, open market to buy from them. Or maybe they just call you to get your attention, maybe like the mates. Different area, basically, where there's a lot of art calling here, so do not go and bad being offended. Usually, it's just light-hearted. It's not there. And if you're a girl, basically, somebody, maybe a guy, just like you, and they want to call your attention to it, be like, "Hey, Empress, they want to you know." So just turn, look back, acknowledge them, and be going. Unless maybe you're looking for a boyfriend, basically, you're looking for a girl, your boyfriend also, or you're looking to start a relationship with anybody, then you can stand by and talk. But what I'm trying to say is, there's a lot of cat calling here. There's a lot of we do that everywhere. You go to the market, there's a lot of cats calling. Come and call, touching you. Come and do this. Come and do that. I don't like the touching aspect. Miss sometimes because I really call me here, but don't go grabbing me. Can really be. I don't. I don't just like it basically. But it does happen. So you might want to just like ignore and just keep going. Make the one of those cats calling. But like I said, those cats calling thing you will experience it here. That one was number six. Number six is Ghana is loud. Like it's a loud society. Like. When I say loud, not compared compared to some African country, Ghana is like when, when I say Ghana, I mean the major cities like Accra, Kumasi, and those cities. I'm talking about Ghana as a whole because when you go to a more rural place, it's very calm. But like I said, it's a loud, bubbling society. So if you're coming from somewhere else in the diaspora, not African, because if you're an African, if you're Nigerian, you're used to the loudness. It's even more louder in Nigeria than it is in. Ghana, but there's like you you can be on the street and there's uh, street music going on, shops playing music. There's a a, a preach house with megaphone on the roadside in the marketplaces preaching very loudly, talking very loudly into their megaphone. Then you go to the open market space, people bargaining trying to carry out their life. Like, it's a loud, it's a very loud society, so it can. Take from getting used to if you are coming from somewhere different from here, but it's kind of how we live in Africa. It, it, there's this bubbly life about it. It's very normal for us, and you learn to enjoy it. Basically, you will miss it when you leave. You actually will miss it because it shows the whole liveliness, how people are like going about their business, how life is bubbly. Somebody just dance me. I like going to us for street for that. I just see somebody just hey, yeah, even if they, the big play boy like me on the street, you go to circle. It's a last place basically, but be prepared for that in case you're a foreigner coming. Just be prepared for that. Number seven is I have said it a lot. Do not interact with your left hand. Is is kind of a taboo. It's considered rude and unclean because the Ghanaian culture consider the left hand unclean. But one thing about it is that most people do not actually realize that um, mm, from different societies it might be different. But if you're in Ghana, you have to like learn to abide by the rules. So don't go trying to shape people or touch goods and wear in the market with your left hand. You, you can you you end up offending a lot of people basically. So learn to do things with your right hand, give out money, take things, shaking people, literally do most things with your right hand. Uh, interacting with your left hand is very terrible. People will be like, oh don't do that. Like I said, the left hand is considered unclean. I bring mean, us to uh, we number eight, you have to bargain taxi prices. If you are using those regular cows, those roadside cows, you know. Learn to bargain. If you're going about being like, what someone said 50 cities and you're just paying the 50 cities, don't do that. Don't bargain. Because, like I said, they look at you, depending on where you are dressed, and whether it's 100 cities or it's 50 cities. You can pay 20 cities for that thing. So, learn to bargain. Or most just stick to using, like, uh, you know, depends on some rules have like tax shares taxi. Those ones they have like fixed price, so you don't have an issue with that. Or maybe just basically use boats and uber but those are very expensive right now anyway even if you're taking like a regular taxi be fair in your bargaining and your pricing because prices of gas in ghana is 
outrageous at the moment. I think they are getting a little bit about 10 CDs. That was crazily expensive. So when you use your throat robot, still, even if it's expensive for them to get the, the, the gas, it might be very expensive for you also. So learn to buy taxi prices if you are using regular taxi prices. That brings us number nine, number nine. <laughs> But now there is Ghana time everywhere. I'm very guilty of it now. There is Africa Mount time. There is Ghana time. <coughs> Even the rest of this video, they be like, this girl, she's the champion of Ghana time. Like, I operate for it. It's, it's crazy. But like, I miss the it. And so I'm like, like I said, I'm almost a Ghanaian. I'm four years old. We joke. You know, but there is Ghana time. It can be good and it can be good. But it has its own good side, it has you know the old bad aspect of it also. People take like a more relaxed approach to a lot of things here. So yeah, you know, that's like I do I like it, like I said, I operate by that, but there are some like in official setting can be really annoying. But you know, just prepare for the Ghana kind like you might have to like spend an extra hour somewhere to get something you want to get done for you and the rest of that, but or maybe someone is telling you, oh, I'm going to meet you here. <laughs> Be prepared for that extra time. Like I said, there is gonna be one time. People there are not just in a hurry to do a lot of things. But like I said, as the bad side is when you have to do something of future. But me, because regular time is me, I have enough time to sit down and do what I want to do. So I'll treat my head also, but there's a matter. Not everything is cheap here. As a matter of fact, most things are not cheap here. Things are very expensive. But it depends on where you are living and what you are buying also. Ghana, has a, Ghana like most African countries, depends largely on importation of a lot of things. So that like reflects in the prices of things a lot. So things are like very pricey here. So you have to like, you know, cut cost, cut cost what you can, buy from lesser places and the rest of that. But like I said, cost of importation reflects largely on prices of things here. So not everything is shipping now. Don't come thinking, oh, you get this for ship, you get that for ship. You'll be like crazily surprised. Like I said, your water is like very expensive, like sachet water. A bag is about 60, this is 0.5 now. That's about 600 naira. We used to get that bag for about two few, it was two five, then it later become three CDs, and then it later become three five. But just all of a sudden, it's not six CDs, that's times two of the regular price. And there are some places you go to get that same bag of water, they will sell it for you for six five. And then there is a uh, bottle water that we used to buy for lesser than uh, 12 CDs sometimes, not 20 CDs basically. So, like I said, there's a lot of things, I think not everything is cheap as far as the water, water itself is not cheap. Yeah. So yeah, learn to cut costs when you can. At my level, the people will stare at you, and it's not a sign of people being rude or, or a, uh, you know, I don't know what to, say. I don't know how to place it, frame it, because I like picking my words very carefully here on the channel because people can get offended. But like people can stare, people will tend to stare at you because like here in Ghana, it's easier to pick out foreigner. And when people decide, when people realize they're foreigner, they stare at you not because they're being rude. And you're trying to figure out the kind of person you are or where you're from. You know, it's just like that whole in there, just intrigued, basically, like, oh, it's a foreigner, trying to figure out where this foreigner is from so they, they can stare at you. It's nothing being rude. Uh, uh, for me, basically, maybe I say hello, they know this one is Nigeria, but Nigerian people can just like stare at me to, 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 to see how I react to the certain things or to see my character because. They, they, they think Nigerians tend to be rude, so they're like, is she a rude girl? <laughs> yeah, but I, I guess people will stare at you, it's nothing, it has nothing, it has no strong or strange uh, uh, feeling to what it's basic. And another thing that will cost a lot of those tests, it depends on what you are wearing at. Like, if you go, like, Ghana is still largely a very decent and uh, decent community that's like a lot of community that are very decent. So when you're wearing things that are like overly exposing your body, your hoops are hot, your skirt is very short, your belly, you are wearing like those boob tubes you can wear in, in several places and be walking. Yeah, here it will cause people to stare at you, and you might hear one or two people telling you to cover up your body. Mostly the women, if I get open your body, they might cover your body, you know, the rest of that. So, if you do not want to be stared at in that, you know, aspect, you might want to be mindful of the kind of things to wear out. 
personally for me i direct that these are not comfortable wearing out i can be in my house and making videos and i can wear like i'm less like this i want i'm wearing under this now but because i'm very curvy i don't like wearing something like this out of the house without wearing a jacket because mostly i don't like the attention so it depends on you it mostly depends on you so most of the time oh i like how my inside is always covering about it i'm used to it even in nigeria it's the same thing i don't go out of the house wearing you know too much Expo I don't like exposing my body basically because it draws a lot of negative attention that I do not like. I don't like this kind of attention. So be mindful of things you wear basically. <laughs> I don't know, I love it. Try, look at the least cases. Like, don't come to Ghana and not try most of the local delicacies out. You really, 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 even if you're a food snob, you really need to try some of these local delicacies out to so, like better your experience. Are you gonna come? You're gonna talk about the experience you are experiencing in Ghana with us. Putting in those, I ate this and it was amazing. Like, if you be on the channel, you basically know that came to Ghana and was like, Oh, I don't like the Ghana Jello. But she left Ghana saying, Oh, I'll miss the Ghana Jello for more. <laughs> so, you have to try them, even if they look a bit different from what you are used to. I'm like, Oh, no, I just stick to it. try some of those over to the cases. You like it, you really like it. So, I'm going to end this video. Yeah, I hope this video help you a bit. You know, if you like this video, you're here, you're still watching. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up, like it, you know, interact, comment, tell me what you think, tell me what else you like to see on the channel in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, also, it's very important. Subscribe for more interesting videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.